Hi, my name is Maria Barona. I'm a instructor here at SAE Miami. Today, we're going to talk about tempo mapping in Pro Tools. Okay, so we're gonna do some tempo mapping here. So we have this drum track. It was recorded to a determined tempo. Over here, my session says it was recorded at 80 BPM. But as I dive into the actual transient of the session, I mean, I'm zooming in and I can tell that the beginning of the waveform does not line up to my grid mark right here. So that leads me into thinking that maybe this session that I can read that it has a 80 BPM tempo was not recorded to 80 BPM. Let's check out this next waveform. Oh, definitely it was not. So in order to do that, there is one first step that I need to do. I need to locate the kick track. Why? Because if I'm doing a multi-track uh, drum recording, the kick track is always going to have the best defined transient. Well, also the snare drum but definitely more the drum because the microphone always tends to be closer or even inside of the kick drum itself when it's recorded. So that's gonna lead us to have a cleaner um, transient over here of that take. Um, our next step is gonna go ahead and open up the transport window, which I do with command one. As I do that, um, I gotta definitely check that this little guy in here is active. Otherwise, if my session is set up to um, manual tempo, which happens when I make conductor track inactive, our um, tempo mapping shortcut will not work. So first of all, just let's go and turn it, in, turn it on. And then I'm going to locate that first beat of that kick drum. Now, when I'm either on grid mode or slip mode, it's really hard, even on slip mode, to actually get it right at the beginning of the transient because you really don't know if you're doing it right or not. So for that, Pro Tools has a function and it's this button over here. It's called tap to transients. And what it does is that when it's active, wherever you place the cursor, you push tab and your playhead will move right at the beginning of what the algorithm identifies as the beginning of the transient. So it can't get any more accurate than that. Once you've done that, our next step is gonna be pushing command I. That is just going to add a bar beat marker. So basically I'm going to tell Pro Tools that this is going to be the first beat of this second bar that we've got here. So I'm gonna do location two, meaning bar two, beat one, and then I'm just gonna change it to zero, zero. And you're going to see how the beginning of the transient and the grid mark will line up. There you go. So now we know that this is the next kick drum that should belong to beat one of bar three. So I'm gonna push tap to transient again, and with command I, I'm gonna tell uh, the beat marker to go, once I push three, it goes immediately to location 3100. Zero, zero. And let's check what happens right here as I push OK. Now I've added a second mark. Now what happened is that once I've added two beat markers, now we see that we've got a value here, meaning that Pro Tools has identified that between these two beats right here, there is approximately 105 beats per second. Now, if we go up to the next one, same, I did tap to transient by just pushing tab and I push command I and I say, this is going to be my 41100. It's identified 150. Uh oh, so that means that maybe this is not the right one. So we're just going to go ahead and trash it. See, I just grabbed it and pushed it. Let's hear it. Okay, so this is going to be our one. And as you can see now, this one is actually closer to our grid mark than before. Now, as I tap to transient one more time and I go command I, 
and I say 41100. Now it's going to line up pretty steadily. It's, of course, it oscillates. This guy is a human being. He doesn't record to 105 on the spot. But you can tell as we keep moving forward, identifying which one is the beat one, it'll lead us closer to 105. And that leads me to conclude that this session was recorded at 105. And that is going to be my entire Pro Tools session B. Hey guys, it's Maria again. Thank you so much for watching our videos. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to watch more videos like this, log into usa.sae.edu.